they cannot move because they don't produce enough stress hormones. Uh, stress hormones are being produced in the adrenaline gland a little all the time so we can be able to do normal activities. More are being produced when we need them. And it's not up to you to decide if you need them or not. Your main office will decide. When we need more stress hormones when we are doing physical activities. When you are have working out or running or something, you need more stress hormones to keep going. And that's why you are pushing your production system of adrenaline. Uh, we need more stress hormones when we are in danger and need to run, fight, or in some way get out of the situation. <coughs> When we are excited by something, we, when we are in pain, there are many, many reasons for it. It's exactly the same with dogs. They have the same physiology as us. The same hormones are being produced, having the same effects on the body. So. Uh, hormones work this way. Our senses pick up what's going on around us or the pain inside us. And the senses sending message to the brain. The brain order the glands to produce hormones and it starts the production. Adrenaline is being poured out in the muscles and make you ready for action. All this from the senses to the action goes so quickly that is, you cannot even count it. The moment the dog sees another dog, he starts to be active. It goes that fast. And that's why you cannot stop it or change it. From the moment the dog see that other dog, you're too late. If you start to give your dog a treat, at that point you are actually rewarding the dog for being stressed, being afraid, or whatever he is feeling. Forget about it. It goes too fast for you to do anything at all. Stick with that thought. And it can be excitement, playing, stress level goes up because they get more active. That's okay to be playing once in a while, but not every day. Two times a week is more than enough. And if you have a stressed dog, you shouldn't do it at all for a while. Mm -hmm. Excitement going new places. If the dog gets excited by it, you have to work more on step by step getting the dog used to more new environment. Running for something, fast movements make a dog stressed. Mm -hmm. Stress level goes up enormously during fast movements. So every time you throw a ball or a stick for your dog, you are causing your dog stress. Play with other dogs. Stress, stress, stress. It's necessary to let them play a little once in a while, but not all the time. People overdo these things, say, let it go on and on and on and on and on and on. And that's why dogs get chronic stress. Stress level goes up when the dog gets worried about something, start to feel, oops, what's this? Stress level goes up a little. 
even more when the dog has to go in defense. It depends on the level of the threat or the excitement, if it goes a little up, more or much. If he has to guard a treasure or his food, don't ever put the dog in that situation that he has to guard his food. It's very stressful. Being tied up somewhere and no place to escape, huge stress. When we are impolite and have a threatening position to the dog, it gets really stressed. When we are impolite and hug the dog or bend over him and do all these things that dogs do not like, maybe they don't get very stressed, but a little because we are impolite and they don't like it. If you are of the hugging type, who like to hug everybody, don't do it with your dog. Hug people, teddy bears, whatever you want, but not the dog. They don't like it. If the dog is feeling threatened, he gets really stressed. If a puppy is being pestered by a bully puppy, <coughs> Is really scared, getting into panic, trying to to fly. Very, very stressed. But also the bully one, because he gets enjoyment out of it, and he gets a little stress too. And the other thing, he learns to be a bully. So if you let the puppy be a bully when it's a puppy, you are in trouble when he grows up because he will learn to be an adult bully. A bigger, stronger bully. <coughs> Feeling pain or being trapped, being pulled by the leash, they get stressed. Behind bars, cannot escape. There are numerous situations where the stress level goes up a little, Moderate, more, more, and much, depending on what it is and what the emotions are around it. But anything out of the normal will cause a little stress, and that's okay. That will go quickly away. <laughs> Adrenaline is being produced fast. As soon as the brain gets the information from the eyes or ears or whatever, it's there. It's already being produced. And when adrenaline gets higher, it starts, it sets off hundreds of biochemical processes in the body. All of them have some effect on the dog, mentally or physically. So adrenaline goes very fast down again. The problem is that the effects stay longer. It can stay up to six, seven days in the dog if it's really, really something bad happening. So uh, it can be for maybe a day, two days, so up to six, seven days. We will look at some of the biochemical processes that happens, and just listen to me. These effects, what's happening, these biological effects, they will happen whether you like it or not. And it's because, it can be because of excitement and happiness. I, I can tell you, if I won 30 million in the lottery, I would be stressed. <laughs> so, there's a lot of things that will be like 30 millions for a dog, and I get also stressed by it. So, excitement, 
fun, uh, threatening things, scary things, all kinds of stuff. If the stress level goes up, the biological effects will be the same. It has nothing to do with negative experiences or positive experiences. The stress level is the same. It goes up the same and the effects are the same. Keep on to that. People seem to think that if it's fun, it's okay. No, it's not really. We need some fun, but we have to have a moderation in the fun. If you go out to some fun place one night and have a really good time, that's good, even if you come home and are stressed. You're sitting at the kitchen table and you cannot go to sleep because you are so high from all the fun you had. Right? Mm -hmm. If you go out every night, you will have all these effects bothering you. But we don't do that. We don't go out having lots of fun every night. But we let our dogs do it. Try to get a little moderation in what you're doing. Effects. Gastric juices. Uh, gastric juices get up, raise a parallel with adrenaline. So adrenaline going up, gastric juices comes up. Like this. That means, as soon as the dog gets really stressed, you will very often, not always, but very often the dogs get diarrhea or loose stools. After having the dog to a dog show or competition, they very often have loose stools the next day. When it's chronic stress, 